Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about how to create a store processor inside Azure Data Studio. So it's a very uh, simple process. So you need to write add your create and here you can find the create a store processor. Now if you press enter, so add here this is asking to give the suitable name of a store processor. So add here create new a store processor called and inside a schema dbo and here drop the store processor if it's already exits so add here if exits so first that to finding if there is uh, any store processor that already exits or uh, suppose user give add here like uh, sp employee okay so if uh, and here it take the so first that take a schema or dbo and here a specific name and here routine and processor so if this condition is satisfied okay that means it's exit so add here this is for drop processor or sp employee now first that drop here after that going to create the store processor so add here first parameter para param 1 and here param 2 so all uh, creating add here this is so uh, all uh, uh, store processor with two parameter and uh, after as this is selecting param 1 and param 2 now in finally add here dbo dot sp underscore employee so add here uh, the value is set 1 and 2 so if you execute here, so let's give the server name that is local host and authentication SQL logging here username as a and give the password. Now here we need to select the database so let's click item here click on connect. So see right here this is the completed command completed successfully and here uh, there is a processor stored processor and uh, created so column name not as specify now here after if you want to check here you go to programmability and here you can find a stored processor and sp underscore employee that stored processor it's uh, created now if you want then here you can or uh, draw or if you want so see at here this is the store processor or uh, param 1 param 2 and here there is a one more more variable at param parameter rc at the rate rc 3 on integer tab and here execute sp and here there is a two parameters so if you execute here you can find null value so at here at this point when i when I was execute here, the value is set with execute dbo 1 and 2. So if you execute here this one, so here you get the output. But at here, there is no any 1 and 2 as specified so that here the value is null. So this is the simplest way we can create the store processor in Azure Data Studio. Or here you can do some modification like uh, you can take input output parameter and uh, here you can uh, give some particular parameter after that you can execute and get the expected output. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.